Okay, so now we are back, and we have to go to one of the more annoying places to get to, because we have to go about six places to six maps over to get to the place that we have to get to. But it is decently easy now that they put in the jump down function. But it's annoying because to get there you have to go through all these kind of mazes. Hopefully I fixed the video quality from last time. I don't know why it did all those black lines and it was super small, but I think I got it to stop doing that. If you remember, this is where we did the ribbing pig quest, well one of them anyways, right down there. So we are... Can I even move during this? No, I can't. So we just have to get right up there. Which usually isn't too horrible, but... It's also kind of annoying that we have to go all the way here again after we come to here for another quest. Now, for about three times, we'll be doing about the same exact thing of just going back and forth until we get to the top of the map. But it isn't too hard because we have about a thousand HP. So these guys don't really hurt us all too much. Wait for him to leave and go and still fall this time I'll try and go to the left hard to get up here but when you do it's really easy to do the rest. There we go. Now they replaced the octopi with blue slimes, which to me seems actually a downgrade, but it could be better and I just didn't notice it. That map was pretty easy. And now we have to finally go all the way up to that green dot. It's 
just pretty good that we have a mob attack that can get at least three guys in front of us and it almost always kills them in one hit. Kill that guy for safety. Wrong button. And now they're all coming over here. So I'm just gonna go in quickly. Now we yet again have to go all the way to the top of the map. But they just replaced all the enemies with Octopi. And so they only do about 40 damage, so nothing to complain about. But here is our first boss. Not all too hard. But probably be a lot harder if you were a regular bandit because all you would have would be double stab. Which should take about two times as long. And then now that we got out of that map, we can then use the return to the nearest town. And we're back here. Now we get our hat, which we will be using for the next, oh, probably about 25 levels, because this hat is amazing. And then this is pretty much useful, I mean not useful, but we'll keep it just in case. Get another level up. And now, we have to go to each of these people's town place with their NPC gate that we went to. And we have to kill the enemies in that map to get a note from one, from one of the enemies. And then we have to bring all those notes to someone in Sleepywood. But, I will first do all my stats. 50, and then repeatedly click it until it's gone. Put 2 in Guitar Mastery. And then I'm gonna think I'm gonna save them up until we get to 30 for our next job advancement. But I'll go check that after this recording because I'm not 100% sure of how I'm going to do my skills. But we also have new armor. No new weapons sadly, but at least our weapons are better than the ones that they try and give us. And now we have all our new equipments. But I think I'm going to go sell a lot of that stuff just so that the equipment tab will be a lot cleaner and easier to see. Just be thankful that our hat is of this horse and not a unicorn, which is another job hat. Put that back up. We can sell this, and this one's the same exact as ours, that hat is worse, a little bit less than ours, whoops, can't hit enter too quickly, old armor, can't use a shield, 
Horrible hat. That's for a girl. Horse armor. Get more shield. I'm going to keep all the hidden potential items just in case I ever do want to make a pirate or whatever class it's for. But is this one worse or better? Um, I could equip it in two more levels, but I'm not sure if the plus two luck is equal to the five weapon attack. But I'll just sell it, just because I don't want to really try and figure out. And then we're good with that. And then, I don't think I'm going to sell anything in here. Should I going to sell these two kind of potions? Because I have enough health potions, as you can see. Not sure what the owl stickers do, but I'll just keep it. These I've seen them sell for a lot in the cash cash trade, so I'll keep it for later. And then we don't need a wizard potion. Pretty sure we don't ever need leaves. The things I just sold are for a mini game that we don't need to do. I don't think we need those. Neither of those. I never keep the ores. So I'll actually save that. And so we always need pig's ribbons for some reason. Keep those for now just because they don't sell for anything, but if I ever need room, I'll just throw them away. And I'm pretty sure we need to hold these for a quest. Gonna check out what these are, and neither of them are good. And that there is the two times buffer quest being done, but I will do that later. We'll activate it later. I'll make sure that I have the thief quest accepted. Yep. What I think I'm going to do is cut to the location of where you're supposed to kill the monsters to get the note. And then I'll show on the world map where I am. And then I'll just show on screen me trying to get the note. So I'll see you in a second.